Well, welcome back to Bear's Rod Shop. This is uh, June the 3rd, and uh, we were hoping to get this Corvette uh, C3 9676 uh, uh, knocked out by the 4th of July weekend. Run into a little issues uh, with the hood. Rest of the body was uh, okay and acceptable, but the hood had some deep scratches. Uh, that my painter overlooked and he went ahead and cleared in the the base coat. Unfortunately, we had to take it all the way back down. It's gonna be a little bit of a setback. So uh, that will put us off on the CJ5 for a little while. We're gonna still shoot for 4th of July weekend, but uh, let me uh, kind of iterate uh, where we're at today on the Corvette. And today's uh, is the little tricks and tips uh, for, you know, wet sanding and taking scratches out, doing numerous uh, little chip fills, etc. And I uh, hope you guys will bear with us. Uh, my camera quality is off of a phone. Not the best in the world. Will we ever get enough little funds? Uh, we will get better camera and uh, mics. Bear with us. Let me uh, show you, uh, here y'all remember probably uh, in a previous video the uh, drip pans that we uh, got uh, built by the uh, owners of the car's father. They work out real well. We're in here in the shop. We have no fuss, no mess as we uh, wet sand. Had to fill about 27 little tiny uh, chips throughout the hood. You can probably see those fairly well. And uh, then today uh, we've taken it down with uh, 320. Got all of it back down to actually into the existing uh, yellow that was there. So we'll have to reseal, uh, et cetera. And uh, the rest of the car, uh, it turned out gorgeous. Uh, a lot of work on wet sanding and buffing. But uh, let me uh, put this back on the tripod. Bear with me a minute. Let's see if we can't tip this down. And uh, we're now at the 1500 stage. Hope y'all can see that fine without zooming it in too close. But uh, we're on the 1500 grit sandpaper wet sanding today. And uh, I really didn't need to set back. But, uh, you know, of course, with these fiberglass hoods, you gotta be careful with these uh, reveals, like through here, that we don't uh, blemish or move back too far. So, we're gonna do some wet sanding. Catch pans are working great. Of course, all the urethane's got to come back off of the clear coat. And then we'll have to reseal. So, not to bore you, but all the scratches, all the blemishes are now removed on this side of the hood. And I use an old fashioned uh, piece of weather belting. Uh, I have several of the other rubber pads, but I love this weather belting that helps us to squeegee and see where we're at on our sanding. So let's uh, continue here a minute. Nice warm day in Texas, I tell you, 98 degrees outside. I'd hate to be doing this without uh, being in the garage here with the uh, fans running. But uh, you can see that uh, once I squeegee this off, And old Eastwood, and uh, those guys have plenty of videos on this. But if you have not done this, and you want to learn how to wet sand back down and reshoot a, <coughs> a, a blemish, uh, hopefully this helps. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Now I use a little one or two drops of. Uh, Dog soap when I'm doing this. It helps, <coughs> excuse me, it helps the uh, 
sandpaper from getting clogged up. <coughs> Excuse me. That's old guys. We got to sit down to do our videos. So, <coughs> anyhow, we will reseal and uh, put the uh, base coat on tomorrow and uh, let it cure. But uh, in between the sealer, we got about 30 minutes or so. Right now it's about 85 degrees here. So the sealer will go down, then the base coat, then the new clear, uh, three coats. And we'll sand in between the first, uh, the second clear and the third. And uh, then we'll be able to put this old Corvette, hopefully, hood back together by this weekend and get moving back on that CJ5. So, uh, I wish I had better quality cameras and stuff, but you guys bear with me. Love all the subscribers. And I watched a good video this morning. About 4 o'clock in the morning, I got up, turned on an old Pete 222 over old Tubal Kane, and there he was with uh, A Bomb 79. Uh, well, it was an older video whenever they got together in A Bomb shop. I love that video. That was too cool. Then I'd go to old Tony before I got out here about 8 o'clock and see some of his stuff. So, uh, and Joe Pike. But I gotta watch him every day. So you guys uh, in our community of uh, body shop, machinists, etc. Uh, let's all stick together and uh, keep these videos going. Keep our subscribers happy. And uh, thank you for all the new subscribers I've just gotten. And uh, one day we're going to update, get state-of-the-art new cameras if I live that long. Hopefully, well, if I buy one tomorrow, it's probably out of date uh, by Friday. So, anyhow, thumbs up, please subscribe. And, uh, yeah, the Corvette is really coming along. Unfortunately, uh... I'm not gonna, uh, we're gonna stay friends with my painter forever, but uh, it was really terrible. Too many deep scratches, like maybe Scott Sprite down the primer, thinking with great Scott Sprite that was cool, but once he shot the clear, ooh, ooh, yeah. uh, the owner is not unhappy. He knows we're gonna take care of business, and that's what we do. That's why we was raised. We take care of business. So, Brian over at Metal Shavers, uh, if you're watching uh, any of my videos, best to you in Menwell. And uh, Adam over there at uh, A Bomb 79. Uh, one day I'm going to come to Pensacola and hopefully you'll uh, let us in your shop like you did Pete 222. And Pete, I'd love to come see you. Uh, we, we could uh, jaw all day long. We could have a, a blast. I love some of your old antique, uh, you know, tools like we've got. Not as many, but a bunch. So anyhow, we're not going to call this thing, but uh, mixed in uh, bits and pieces of taking care of body work. And uh, it is for the C3 uh, Corvette Stingray. But uh, instead of titling it for that, we're going to just do bits and pieces. How to uh, take care of customers. Make them happy. you got to do that. Or they won't come back. Again, thumbs up please. Subscribe. And uh, one uh, evening here pretty quick, we're going to be firing this old uh, uh, 350 up. And uh, everything's new. Engine rear end. Uh, we're going to have to go through the brakes now. It's been here a year. I, I want to redo them, make sure the bearings are good. But uh, I think our customer is going to be super happy and it's going to be a nice driver for his dad. Come back and see us. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to add anything to the COVID-19. Uh, we're seeing more openings of restaurants around Texas here in my local area. Churches, barber shops. Uh, well, now we get 52 occupants in a Dollar General. That's a plus.
before it was like 20 people. That was it a week ago. So hopefully this COVID will get over and we can get on with our lives. Come back and see us. See ya.